Aladdin Creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video from Melody Creations. My name is Kavindu. Today in this video we are going to see most common type of anemia in the world. It is called as iron deficiency anemia. It occurs when your body doesn't have enough of the mineral iron. So let's discuss introduction, pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, laboratory investigation and treatment of iron deficiency anemia in this short video. Introduction Iron deficiency anemia is the most common type of anemia. It has a huge disease burden affecting almost one-fourth of the world's population. Prevention of iron deficiency anemia is crucial due to several reasons. Anemia in pregnancy is very dangerous as it is associated with low birth weight and prematurity. Children with iron deficiency anemia are shown to have impaired learning abilities. Iron deficiency anemia patients have reduced work capacity which ultimately affects negatively to the country's productivity and economy. Etiology We can divide the causes for IDA into four categories. They are decreased intake, decreased absorption, increased demand and increased loss. Decreased intake is usually due to nutritional deficiencies. This is more commonly seen in poorer countries. The vegetarians are also at risk as their only source of iron is non-heme iron which is harder to absorb. Decreased absorption can be due to diseases like celiac disease or surgical removal of the stomach known as a gastrectomy. The demand for iron increases in childhood and pregnancy which makes them prone to iron deficiency. Blood loss is the most common cause of iron deficiency anemia in developed countries. In males, it can be due to bleeding from gastric ulcers or colon ulcers. In females, it is the heavy menstrual bleeding that causes increased and loss from the body. Parasites like hookworm can also cause chronic blood loss. Pathophysiology All of these causes lead to inadequate iron for the needs of the body. Iron is essential for the division of cells in the red cell generation process as it is the major component of hemoglobin. When there is not enough iron for hemoglobin production, the bone marrow will release small-sized cells known as microcytic red cells. They also contain less hemoglobin and therefore appear pale in color. The cells cannot transport oxygen effectively, this causing tissue hypoxia. This stimulates the bone marrow to increase erythropoiesis. But when even increased production could not compensate for the deficit, bone marrow starts to release poorly formed erythrocytes of various shapes and sizes. This is called poikidocytosis and anisocytosis. Also, iron is an essential component of myoglobin and oxygen storing protein seen in muscles and cytochrome oxidase, a mitochondrial enzyme. Cytochrome oxidase deficiency first becomes evident in rapidly dividing tissues like the hair and nails. Lack of iron therefore can manifest through several clinical features. Clinical Features The most common clinical features of iron deficiency anemia are paler, tiredness, shortness of breath and exercise intolerance. Sometimes the patients may have glossitis, which is an inflamed tongue, and chelitis, which is inflammation of the lips. But keep in mind that all these symptoms are vague and non-specific. The specific symptoms and signs include spoon-shaped nails, which is known as colonicia, craving for unusual substances like clay or ice, which is called pica, and hair loss. Laboratory Investigations the usual investigations done to diagnose iron deficiency anemia are full blood count, peripheral blood smear, iron studies, and bone marrow biopsy for definitive diagnosis. A full blood count will show decreased hemoglobin, decreased hematocrit, low MCV, MCH, and MCHC. In the blood picture, we will be able to see hyperchromic microcytic cells. 
If the central pale area of erythrocytes is bigger than one third of the cells, they are named hyperchromic. And if the erythrocytes are smaller than smaller lymphocytes, they are called microcytic. The other features evident in the blood picture are anisocytosis and poikilocytosis, which will be evident by the presence of pencil cells, teardrop cells, and target cells. Diet studies will exhibit low serum iron, low ferritin, and increased total iron binding capacity TIBC soluble transferrin receptors STFR levels. A rarely used but definitive diagnostic test of iron deficiency anemia is bone marrow biopsy. Bone marrow iron is assessed under pearl sustain, showing depleted iron stores with micronemoblastic erythropoiesis. Check out our video on pearl sustain for more information on the procedure. Treatment Treatment should be directed at the underlying cause initially. Oral iron as ferrous sulfate or ferrous fumarate can be used as the first line therapy. If the patient cannot tolerate or digest oral iron, we can start IV iron. But keep in mind that IV iron poses the risk of anaphylactic reactions and can lead to higher morbidity and mortality rates. Blood transfusions will be needed in severe cases of iron deficiency anemia. Well friends, I hope you guys enjoy this video and gain some knowledge about this iron deficiency anemia. Now you can find article related to this iron deficiency anemia from our website www.analyincreations.com and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit, hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.